Well, today, I believe Sony fanboys have lost their minds and Xbox fanboys are in outrage. Um, the gaming community is blowing up right now. Um, all because of what one man said, that one man being Mark Cerny. Um, good old Mark Cerny said about the PS4 Pro. Um, and we all know he said now that the PS4 Pro has 8.4 teraflops of computing power. I'm going to explain to you why that's not accurate and what he means. Because it is, well, it is accurate, but not on the level that you think. So, first I'm going to explain my Mac background in computing and hardware. Um, I go to, I'm going to school for hardware engineering and software engineering. So, we do a lot of teraflops, junk there, and stuff like this. So, I know what I'm talking about. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to explain to you guys uh, kind of in depth and kind of cut the crap of what he said and because he kind of used fancy words so first I'm gonna read the quote <clears throat> one, of, one of the features appearing for the first time is the handling of 16-bit variables it's possible to perform two 16-bit operations at a time instead of one 32-bit operation in other words at full floats we have 4.2 teraflops with half floats it's now double that which to say 8.4 teraflops in 16-bit computation this has the potential to radically increase performance. Yes, that is accurate. What he just said is accurate. If you cut the process by half, you will then have double more power. But Microsoft can do the same thing, and they can cut the process by half and have 12 teraflops of power. Right? Exactly. Whatever Sony can do on the software side in using 16-bit or 32-bit computation or checkerboarding, Microsoft can do the same thing with their software. It's nothing new. It's just the fact. But what the gaming industry standard is 32-bit, Mark Cerny, and we say 32 bits. So when we measure something, we say it has six teraflops. Of 32 bit com computational power, graphical power, all right? So, yes, when you cut that by half, then yes, you do have double. You you did your math correctly. You do now have 4.2 times 2 is now 8.4. Yes, you that's correct. But yeah, when you cut the games by half, they're not gonna look as good. They're not gonna be a Call of Duty, they're not gonna be an Assassin's Creed, they're not gonna be, you know. A watchdogs they're gonna be a lesser game they're gonna be like an indie game that's gonna be able to run with you know 16-bit architecture I don't know what games use 16-bit architecture because it's so there's hits to other things it's not a next-gen game then if it's using 16-bit architecture because there's games now that are using 64-bit architecture not 32-bit um, actually most computers these days are using 64-bit architecture and most programs are using 64-bit architecture I don't know why he brought up 16-bit and 32-bit architecture. That was a long time ago. 32-bit is getting old. I don't even know what why he brought that up, but I'm pretty sure Microsoft is saying that under a load of 64-bit of a 64-bit architecture game, the Scorpio runs at six teraflops. That's how I interpret it, and that's how I, I believe it to be accurate. So yes, if we're running, they say full floats at 32-bit operations is 4.2 teraflops. Well, full floats for Microsoft at 32-bit operations is 12 teraflops of power. You can cut, you can cut, you can say any, you can cut stuff any way you want to sell a product. So he's wrong. Yes, if you cut something by half um, and manipulate it and do all this stuff, the game's not going to look nearly as good as it does in natural. Uh, form but yes then you can get your number up and you can say we have 8.4 teraflops of power because it all it the how it works is there's this you know you have a system and it has a certain um number of power um and that's not you you know it's not just teraflops teraflops is this kind of something that has become a big war in the gaming community after the scorpio release and reveal and stuff like that um, but there's more 
that goes into a GPU. Um, you know, like processes, frequency, um, transistors, you know, all this stuff. So all that goes into a GPU. And when they just say teraflops, well, that's just how much the game is able to access of the GPU. You know, 8.4 teraflops, it's able to access, you know, 8.4 teraflops of the GPU. The game, or how much the game is running at. So yes, a game like um, Inside, perfect example. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if Inside's using a 16-bit architecture, but if Inside was running on the PS4, it'd be running at true 4K, 60 frames probably, right? Um, but that's not anywhere near like a game like Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, because it's two-dimensional. It's when you get three-dimensional, that's when things go up in bits. So, Mark Cerny just said that to get his number up to sell the PS4 Pro because they didn't make a console that can beat um, Scorpio. So, to p compare apples to apples, let's just say this. Uh, PS4 Pro is running inside, you know. All right, inside's running with 8.4 teraflops of graphical horsepower. The Xbox Scorpio would be running with 12 teraflops of graphical horsepower, both running inside. Um, Scorpio, you know, true 4K, 60, 80 frames. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't want to put a judge, judge on it. And PS4 Pro, 4K, 60 frames. It's And the, it all depends on what the uh, developer allows the console to access in the game um, and how much the game takes, you know, Act, uh, takes advantage of the hardware's capability. So he's just saying if a game utilizes 16-bit uh, architecture, which is ancient, um, they will have 8.4 teraflops of power. But if a game uses 32-bit architecture, which is standard, or 64-bit, which is kind of next level, it will only have 4.2 teraflops of power. And that's what Microsoft was saying. If a game uses 32-bit or 64-bit, they'll have six teraflops of power. So as it stands right now, Scorpio still has more teraflops. And PS4 Pro still has 4.2. And Xbox Scorpio still has six. Nothing's changed. It's just how Mark Cerny said it. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, if you cut something by half, you're going to get double. That's what he said in a nutshell. So... If you like this video, remember to put a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the whole situation. Um, and if I've made a mistake in what I said, go point it out and we can chat down in the comments. Um, subscribe for more gaming news and gaming content alike. As always, guys, game on.